Welcome back to the shocking live finale of The Bachelor. We've all been on this journey together, watching the drama unfold, and what you're about to see is completely unedited. Becca has no idea what's coming, and fair warning, this is hard to watch. So today, I'm very excited. The past few months have been such a whirlwind. Um, but I finally feel like I'm in a place where I can see the future so clearly. I just want to get to the point where this is all over and life goes back to normal. I'm excited to see him. Hey. Hey, How are you? You look good. I'm so tan. What's going on? How are you doing? Can I talk to you a little bit? Here, make me nervous. Here, sit. Um, Oh my gosh, what's oh, that? I know, my tattoo. <laughs> no, no, I like it. Oh. You're making me so nervous. I know. Um, oh, how do I start this conversation? Um, so, uh, you know that I've been struggling a little bit um, over the last few months, just like trying to figure this whole thing out and like grasp everything and uh, the reality is that um, I don't I don't think that I can give you everything that you want right now you know and, and I and I think you sense that so what you you don't have Trump on collusion well, I just um, I think I need to explore the possibility that I might have a stronger case with some other stuff. I can't believe it. I know, well, I'm just, I'm trying to be honest with you and tell you that I, I can't commit to collusion right now. But you indicted 13 Russians and like everything that happened in the Seychelles, that means nothing. No, no, I mean, the Seychelles were amazing, and, like, it's definitely, it's definitely something. It's just, like, the more time that goes by, you know, the more that I keep thinking about obstruction. This is <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> Collusion is literally the only thing I've been looking forward to for the past year. I know, but... Just at this point, I've, I honestly feel like I'm only half in with collusion. So what, you're going to be half in with obstruction? Well, no. Oh, my <laughs> <clears throat> OK, I'm done. I don't, I don't. No, no, I'm, um, you can stay. I'm going to go. So. Okay. I'm not going to, like, give you a hug goodbye. I know. I was, I was ready, Bob. I was ready to do the damn thing. I know. Do you want a few minutes to yourself, or, or do you just want me to go? I want you to go. Okay. Hey, are you okay? Just leave. What are you still doing here? Just go. <laughs> so that's it. He's he's just going to be president. I honest, I, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> can you just like, can you just come talk to me for like two minutes, please? I let my walls down for you. I know, and I, I love that. Oh my god. So I have to wait two more years for him to be out of office. Honestly, probably six. <laughs> Well, 
least you finally got to see me cry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So Stormy Daniels, that's nothing. No, I mean, that's definitely fun. It's just like not what I'm doing. <laughs> Do you have any good news for me? Do you own American Steel? <laughs> then, no, I just don't. Leave. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. I feel like we just need to come together as a country right now and like stop hoping for things that might not happen. Honestly, you have to get out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I mean, it would be Pence. Do you want you want Pence? Get out. <laughs> Look, if it makes you feel any better, uh, the kush is cooked, and uh, also you're the next Bachelorette. Oh, oh, that's great. Well, I'm fine. <laughs> great. And, and live from New York, York is Saturday, Saturday night. night.